Okay, so now this is actually working correctly. I have everything displayed. Um, let's go ahead and hop into it. So this video is on a complete uninstall of Alienware Command Center, all its associated programs, files, leftover files, and H keys. I am not entirely familiar with Windows 11, but we're going to try to work through it. Uh, just bear with me. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and take a look over at our settings here. So settings is open. I'm going to head over to apps, apps and features. Of course, uninstall AWCC, command center, command center suite, and OC controls. Once you do this, um, that should be the main bulk of what you're going to do for uninstalls. The rest is just deleting leftover files. Uh, if you do have AW988, like a you know, Alienware headset, I would suggest un uninstalling that too, just so you can have everything fresh. So we're going to open up File Explorer. Open this baby up. You're going to head to PC. Go to your operating system. And then ultimately, the reason why I can see all these files and programs here um, is because you go to View, Show, Hidden Items. You want to check Hidden Items. Make sure you can see those because you're going to have stuff left over in program data that is in regard to Alienware. So what you'll do is you'll just, of course, delete this folder. You'll go into Program Files. You'll have, let's see, do we have anything in Dell? No, we do not. Common Files, nope. Okay, so Program Files seems to be okay. Um, you shouldn't need to delete anything here because everything Alienware is different programs. The main bulk is going to be here in Program Files, Alienware, completely delete that. Because when you get in here, you can see that it's, you know, AWCC, Command Center, Headset, Headset Center, um, Mobile Connect Driver. You will have to reconnect everything. Just a heads up. It's going to kind of suck, but this entire process is sucked. That's why you're here. Common Files. Make sure everything's cleaned up. So again, completely delete this folder. Just get rid of it. Let's see apps oh, and that one's clear too so now we're on to H keys what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna go to bar type in H key and what we're looking for is registry so so registry editor that's what we're, that's what we're going for open that baby up make that full screen and then there are essentially two folders. One's for the user and then one's for the local machine. So when we go to user, we can go to software. And then you see Alienware. Bada bing, bada boom. Command Center. I would suggest just going into Command Center and getting rid of um, this folder here. You can just straight up right click and delete. Um, but... One of the surefire ways to do it is just completely get rid of the Alienware folder. So, you know, same thing. Right click, delete. Um, so once you've done that for user, you're just going to essentially do the same thing for local machine. Make sure it's totally gone. Alienware. Here, you are going to want to be a little bit more careful. So you will completely delete OC controls here. Command Center and CC components for AWCC. Right click and delete all three of these. Digital delivery does not matter. Um, system, AFX, capable devices. Nope, that's fine. So again, this is what you'll end up deleting. Everything else you should be fine. Um, we'll check H key users just, nope, that's fine too. So again, that should be all you need to do. Get rid of the leftover files from the File Explorer by going to your OS, your operating system. That's within Program Data and Program Files. That should be the only two locations that's it's actually going to be for leftover installation files. Um, the other thing is the H keys. Make sure you get those the hell out of there and restart your system. 
once you've done that, you can essentially, you know, let's say you have a folder with everything you need for Alienware Command Center, like I do. You do get that. Uh, shit, I'll run through that too. Okay, so we'll go to Dell Support. And this is where you're going to pull all your systems updates. Be sure you go here. Do not go from the third-party website because this is this, it's too easy. If you have a Dell system, it'll recognize it. You can just click on it here. Go to Drivers and Downloads. And then I would say manually find drivers. The ones you're going to want to look for is Reorganize This to Newest. And this should be... Let's see. Why is it why is it like this? Oh, show all. Okay, my bad. That was moving on. <clears throat> so fusion service, that's gonna be one you need. Uh can nah you shouldn't need that. Let's see. Am I scrolling I might be going too fast. Anyway, just find all the Alienware Control Center applications. Like here, OC controls, you're going to need both of these. Um, and then again, the Fusion Driver, where is that at? Yeah, Fusion Service. Because this is what ties all those uh, different programs together and makes Alienware Command Center operate properly. Um, so you'll download all three of those. And then you'll end up with a folder that looks similar to this. Um, <clears throat> the only thing with the updates is you can run the command center, like here. You can completely, you know, like hit yes and then install directly from it. However, when you get to OC controls, you're going to want to open it up and extract to that same folder you've created that has all of your updates. If you've done that, then it'll look something like this. Other than that, you just go through the normal install process. The same with Fusion Service. And once you have all those installed, you should just be able to, you know, hit power, restart, boom. Everything should work correctly when you get back in here. However, if it's not, that might be because you have an update in the Microsoft Store. So you'll open that up, go to Library, see what updates you got. I would suggest hitting get updates because it refreshes everything that you had backlogged from the last time you opened it. Um, other than that, that's it's it's pretty straightforward. If it's not working after this, then if you have an existing warranty, I would suggest using it. it I'm all for do-it-yourself type stuff, but eventually it gets to the point where you might have to just get somebody on the phone via the same process, just go on over here into Dell support. Open it up, identify your product. And then contact technical support. Once you've done so, just go through, select whatever your issue is. Let's say in this case, it's uh, software. Then boom, it's that simple. You can give them a call, you'll have an express code, and they should just walk you directly through the process. Um, other than that, that's that's about all I can tell you guys. I really hope this helped, and I didn't just waste more of your time, but if I did, I apologize ahead of time. Just let me know uh, what, what issues you guys are still experiencing, and I'll see what I can do. Other than that, have a great rest of your day, night, wherever it is, when you see this video.